This is a quick video to show you how you can outline fonts in a PDF using Adobe Acrobat Pro. Now I'm here in Word just to use this as a bit of an example. Uh, this is just a normal Word file with three different fonts in it. I'm just going to save that out as a PDF on the desktop. And that will open up in Acrobat. So here's that same file converted to a PDF. I'm just going to go to File, Properties and Fonts. You can also get to that with Control D or Apple D. Um, so here you can see the three fonts, we've got Arial, we've got Calibri, notice that that one's embedded, and Times New Roman. Now fonts that aren't embedded, if you open them up on a machine that doesn't have those fonts, so if it didn't have Arial or Times New Roman, maybe it's on a Linux uh, machine or maybe it's on a Mac, and the, the Mac will actually use its own version of Arial or Times New Roman, and that could cause some slight reflow, especially if there's a table or lots of sort of text crammed on the page in it it won't look like the original so what we're going to need to do is uh, outline these fonts now they need to be outlined on the machine that has the fonts from the beginning uh, or if in the case uh, where I work I'm, I usually work on Macs um, we use a PC to do this so we'll open up the word file that's causing the problem and um, do what I'm about to show you um, but this isn't just limited to word it's anything so if you'd created a job in quark or, or whatever program you did it in if the fonts aren't uh, embedded for whatever reason maybe they're protected then you're going to need to do this so here we go uh, if I go to tools and uh, print production down here we've got flatten a preview now I'm just going to show you this it won't work but I'll just show you uh, the option is called convert all text to outlines or convert all strokes to outlines generally you'll tick both of those and then apply this make sure you've got all pages in document selected so we're going to go apply and it warns you that you can't undo it so you say yes now that should have done that it should have outlined the text and the strokes so let's just check fonts and it hasn't it hasn't done it at all so uh, I don't know why it doesn't do it, it's been like it for years, but there's a workaround, and this is the workaround. So um, I'm going to uh, just start that again from scratch. So uh, open this up. So here's that file again. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is show your tools. I'm, I'm using Acrobat um, 10 or X at the minute. Um, these options are in the other versions of Acrobat, they're just in different areas. So I'm just going to go to content, uh, no I'm not sorry, I'm going to pages and I'm going to add a watermark to this page. Now for whatever reason, when a page has a watermark on it, it will then outline the fonts. Don't ask me why. So uh, for your watermark, you're going to need some sort of writing, you could write watermark or whatever. But um, if you're going to be flattening the artwork, wherever your watermark is, it might take sort of like, uh, it will create a mark where the artwork has been flattened. So if you had like a massive word across the page when it's flattened, uh, there are chances where it can go a bit wrong. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to use just a full stop or a period, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to change the size of it in here to one, so it's tiny, you see it's almost disappeared, and the opacity down to zero, oops, down to zero there. So it won't it will hardly appear obviously it's, um, there's no opacity but when it comes to flattening flattening <laughs> it will still um, take a, a mark out of an image I can't really explain that uh, in much detail now but um, you'll, you'll get the idea anyway <laughs> so I've added the watermark it's going to okay that now I'm going to go down to print production and do the same thing again so flatten a preview convert all text to outlines convert all strokes just 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 habit uh, it just makes sure the files are a bit more compatible all the pages apply warns you that it's going to you can't undo it so save that I can close this now don't need that open and I'm going to go back to properties and fonts and they're gone so that's it all these fonts are now uh, outlined what that means is you can send this file anywhere and print it on any machine without having to worry about uh, the fonts not displaying or uh, you know any other issues like that and also if you're bringing uh, a PDF into InDesign or into Quark or whatever software to then lay it out again you, you, you'll need the fonts either embedded or in this case outlined so that you don't have any problems best to be outlined because there are no fonts at all and no issues effectively this is now a picture 
sort of made up of vector data. And that's it.